Good morning, everybody. I wanted to talk today about listening to your body. Uh, Y'all have to excuse me. I've got an ear infection and a sinus infection. So, anyway, um, over the last three years, as my body has changed and I started feeling so bad and so tired and hurting, I knew something was wrong. You know when there's something wrong with your body and it is so frustrating. I know there's got to be so many of you out there that have went from doctor to doctor to doctor for them to say there's nothing wrong with you. For them to say well let's try this. And that doesn't work and they say well there's nothing wrong with you. For them to say you're just getting old. You're just depressed. You know, I encourage all of you, listen to your body. If the doctor does not listen to you, find another one. Because I was at a point at one time that I thought, I, well, they're right. There's nothing wrong with me. You know what? You know when you feel bad. You know when everything in your life has completely changed. And you don't know why. But do not give up and do not listen to them. There are good doctors out there. Sometimes it takes a long time to find one. Sometimes the journey is very, very long, very frustrating. And uh, mine has been like a three-year time. I know some of you have went 10 and 15 years. Uh... But for those out you that are watching and you just know something is different that that you are sick and they may not be finding out why but you are just keep going just keep going to another doctor don't don't stop because um, just like I was very aggravated day before yesterday I went to my dermatologist and he is a very well-known dermatologist he's very good in his field but I had a place on my shoulder that was sore and aggravating me and I needed him to take it off to cut it off well I took him my last rheumatology report from my rheumatologist in Birmingham who is now treating me because I want to keep my three main doctors updated on each other. My general doctor, my rheumatologist, and my dermatologist. My dermatologist is the one that discovered my discoid lupus, where you can see the scars from the biopsies. And uh, so I want to keep all three of those informed. So I always, and this is another thing, when you go to a doctor and they get blood work done, that's yours. It belongs to you. Always get a copy of your medical records. When you go and you go back for your visit for them to go over it with you, what? No, even if they say there's nothing wrong, tell them you want a copy. It will come handy down the road. Trust me. Um, so anyway, so I gave him a copy of um, my doctor's report. And that he's treating me for the systemic lupus with Plaquenil. Um, my ANA was 1 over 80, which is on the uh, low high side. And he just threw a real big fit. He just said, no, you absolutely do not have lupus. Uh, this is wrong. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Your ANA has to be 400, it has to be 100 over 1,000, 100 over 12, 1 over 1,200. He just went on and on and on. And, and I said, look, you know that for the last three years, I have spiraled down, out of control. Something is wrong with me. And I have been trying so hard to find it. And he said, well... 
I don't, I don't care what he says. Uh, did he check you for this? Did he check you for that? I said I have been checked for all those things many times. And he, and he, he says he has to go by my, the low high, of my A and A, but he is also considering my. Um, all of the other symptoms that I have. He is sensitive enough to take in my symptoms because your blood work is not always accurate. It may take a while before the blood work will show. So this doctor is really working with me. And uh, he said, well, that's just not so. It's just not. And I was thinking, you know what? You be the dermatologist and let him be the rheumatologist. I was really getting frustrated. Because I was also talking to him about my hair loss. And he said, well, it's probably the Plaquenil. And I'm thinking, if you'll go back and look at my records from three years ago where I showed you my hair was falling out, it was very frustrating. And I told him, I said, look, my hair has been falling out since November 2010. It's where I had a big flare. And whenever I get a big flare, my hair falls out. Well... No, that wasn't it either. And then he said, well, okay, yeah, the lupus will do that. The discord lupus will do that. But as it turned out, um, he took that off my shoulder. He didn't take the one that was aggravating me. When he got back there, he saw another one he wanted to take off instead. But I'm just trying to tell you all, don't let one doctor that special, specializes in one field discourage you from another one. He is a great dermatologist, but he was stepping in a direction that he should not have been stepping in. Um, and when it was all said and done, and he started looking back through my paperwork, he said, well, just last August, I, I gave you blood work, and you were negative. And then he stopped and said, oh, well, you were negative. Now you're 1 over 80. Well, that's really not very high. You know... I was so frustrated, I called and talked to my friend when I was over. And, you know, like she said, these are the things we need to talk about. Because I've went through this for so many years, and other people have. I just want you to know, if you're frustrated, if you're still looking for what's wrong with you, don't give up. It, it is out there somewhere. But don't let one doctor discourage you from seeing another. And if you don't like them, if they don't treat you right, if they just blow off your symptoms and how you feel and what's wrong, find another one. There are plenty out there, and you will find the one that will connect to you and care about how you really feel. But, um, but I just wanted to talk about that because I thought it was very important uh, because we need to encourage each other to listen to your body and then find a doctor who'll listen to you. I'll see you again. Bye.